Here is a quick overview of the API endpoint scaffolding feature in Visual Studio. I have a simple web API that exposes a hello endpoint. You can see here, um, it, it's also Swagger enabled. I'll first go ahead and uh, add a new model class. I'll call it, call it message. And let me add a few properties here. I'm adding uh, an ID, an author, and uh, a text uh, of 280 characters. I'll go ahead and build this. OK, build successfully. I'll right click, add new scaffolded item. Under the API, we'll see this new API with read write endpoints using Entity Framework. I'll select that option. I'll select the, the new model class that we just added. Um, for the endpoint class, I'm going to call it uh, message endpoints. For the DB context, I'll call it the broadcast API context. I'll say enable open API. And I'll run the scaffold. At this point, scaffolding runs the project. Um, it detects the code in the project. It generates the, the required code. So it has gone ahead and created the message endpoints as we asked. Let's build the project. OK. And let's run the project. OK. So if I refresh this, we should see all the new APIs that we just added. If I were to go and execute this right now, um, it will just fail because there is no database. So I'll go back to the connected services in the project. Because we scaffolded the API endpoints from Visual Studio, Visual Studio has already detected that it has a local DB. You can click here. You can say Add Migrations. We'll call it uh, Add Message. It has detected the DB context class. I'll finish it. It has added the migrations to the project. You can see the migrations here. I'll go ahead and apply the migrations. OK, click Finish. You can actually see the, the .NET EF command that uh, Visual Studio runs in this case. OK, the, the database is successfully updated at this point. Now, let's go ahead and uh, run this again. You can actually see that there are additional options as well. You can generate the SQL script, and if you want, you can open in the SQL Server Object Explorer as well. So now that we've run the app, I'm going to refresh this again. Um, let's go ahead and uh, try it out. So this time, it should succeed. OK, that was successful. I'll go ahead and uh, post. So in here, it needs, uh, you actually saw the model that we created, so it needs an author. So I'm going to provide an author information text. Why not? Okay, I'm going to execute this. Okay, it has successfully gone ahead and created this. We can hit the endpoint as well directly. So I can go here and say that I want to go to API slash message. And I should see the message. Uh, this is the new um, API end-to-end -end development experience in Visual Studio. Um, please give it a try and let us know what you think. Thank you for watching.